of somebody taping. Okay, welcome to Troy Planning Commission meeting for Wednesday, March 11th. Please call the roll. Mr. Caffers? Mayor. Mayor. Mr. McGarry? Mr. Westmeyer? Here. Mr. Titterington? Here. Mr. Wolke? Here. Mrs. Ehrlich? Here. We have a quorum. Okay, we have our minutes of, of February 26th in front of us. Uh, are there any additions, corrections, or deletions of those minutes? Uh, didn't you have one? I, I yes. Have yeah. I no, I did not change it because it's already gone out. Okay. And, and I think the, uh, the minutes, if you will take a look mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. top of oh, what's that? In the title of the sub. Oh, there we go. Long. About, about uh, in the second matter, mm -hmm. uh, it says staff reported the applicant and property owner, Greg Taylor. And Greg Taylor's not the property owner. Right. He's, okay. he's contracted. By so uh, I would so ask that the minutes be approved with the change that uh, the applicant is Greg Taylor of MVP and that the property owner also represents. Okay. okay, and that'll be amended in the staff report. All right. Make that motion. I'll second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Next, the application out of the downtown riverfront overlay district. This is now a public hearing. Uh, staff have a report? Yes, sir. So at the previous uh, Planning Commission meeting on February 26th, the first reading uh, of this requested DRO application to allow residential on the use on all four levels for the property at 25 Plum Street, South Plum Street. Uh, the applicant is proposing for this property, which is an existing structure to be used completely for a residential use on all floors. This property is on B3 bus Central Business District consisting of 0 0.05 acres, 4,212 square foot multi-story building. And this property is located on South Plum Street between West Main and West Franklin Street. After review by city staff, the property currently meets the existing underlying zoning districts as a non legal non conforming lot, and all other aspects meet the zoning code. The staff uh, does recommend the Planning Commission to make a formal recommendation to City Council uh, since the DRO process of a mandatory public hearing has now been met, and the next step will be Council, uh, Clerk of Council, will forward this recommendation to the President of Council. Any questions of staff? And there's residential uses around this property, correct? Yes, sir. The property to the north, directly to the north, 21 South Plum Street, is currently all uh, residential. The property to the south of this one has residential on the second story as well as a permitted use. You indicate that the planning commission should make a recommendation to the city council. Do, do you mean in the affirmative? Yes, yes. Okay, this is a public hearing. Is there anybody out in the audience that wants to talk? Greg Taylor, 4810 Monroe Concord. Um, I don't have a whole addition to add, except you know when we looked at the building for redevelopment and investment, um, apartments were the uh, the primary driver. I don't know if you're familiar with the building. That's the challenge of this building is it doesn't have a street level. When you go in from street level, you either go up six feet or you go down six feet. There's no street level. Uh, floor mm -hmm. um, and so when you looked at when you looked at developing it thinking about a business um, you'd have to put in an elevator you're, you're not going to get a lawyer office or a real estate office to go in there for accessibility reasons without an elevator uh, which financially we could not do it and, and redevelop this property four apartments or less and we're looking at three but four apartments or less um, you do not require ADA doesn't kick in in this property and not kick in so we would not be required to do an elevator and that's why we I, sort of drove our investment and development in that area versus a uh, business. Quick question. Mm -hmm. um, this is the building with all the ivy on the back, right? Yes. And you plan on taking that ivy? Absolutely, off? yeah. Is that ivy going to damage the concrete underneath? So we've not removed it yet, but we've looked behind it. Mm -hmm. And it has gotten some of the mortar joints, um, which we'll have to do some tuck pointing and repairing to the back end of it. And of course, it would be painted for guidelines of historical district. And once that's approved, it would be tuck pointed and painted. Yep. Any questions of the applicant? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. okay. Close the public hearing portion of this uh, issue. Uh, does the commission want to take any action on this matter? I'll make a motion we provide a favorable recommendation to city council. I second that. 
Any further discussion on the motion? Please call the roll. Mr. Westmeyer? Yes. Mr. Titterington? Yes. Mr. Walkie? Yes. Mrs. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Capper? Yes. Unanimous. Okay, we do have another matter to consider. Uh, who's going to answer that one? Um, I'll go ahead and take this question if I could. Um, essentially, this is a reclass of two inlots um, for dedication of additional storm and drainage easements. Um, I think when the original uh, plat was shown, the location of the utilities would not be within the easement, so they're requesting additional easement on there. Because the development, uh, the entire development consists of more than five lots, that's why it's coming back to you, although this only affects two lots in the development. So it was recommended by our law director to bring it before the Planning Commission to receive a positive recommendation to City Council to accept the new proposed easements on the, on the lot. But in this case, the Planning Commission approves it. They don't have to go back to Council. Um, I think they do have to go back to the City Council. Well, Council, council Committee's already looked at this, and their recommendation is subject to this affirmative right. recommendation. This is one we look but at. They're, even better. Well, <laughs> council, Council's approval, though, is accepting the, uh, the new easements. The, and, the and Grant wanted it to go back to the Planning Commission because it does involve a replat. And the Planning Commission can make that approval mm -hmm. as part of this whole process. So we don't have to further complicate it. I thought Council had to approve all replats. No? I don't believe so. Not if there are certain ones that the city engineer can approve. Right. Uh -huh. But under, after reviewing this, Mr. Uh, yeah. Mr. Yeah, usually Kerber re suggested replats that, that affect less than five parcels yeah, right. are, are done in house. But because he said the development consists of more than five, gotcha. even though this one only affects the two, that's why it's good. Just as a practical matter, why is this additional easement being granted? Was there not enough room, or is, is the easement already dug in and gone? Well, uh, if I remember correctly, when they actually located the utilities and did the final engineering design, they had to move. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of right. And are these lots currently occupied? Any structures on them? Uh, no. Okay. Any other questions for staff? Mr. Wolke? Are, are we make? I'm, I'm unclear. Are we making a recommendation or an approval? I think you're making a approval well, at this approving. point in the replat. Mm -hmm. And why did it go to council? Can you say it's, it, it went to the it council went to because it, uh, we had to accept? Council has is the only one that can accept the uh, easements. Okay. But as part of that process, Grant felt more comfortable if there was a replat that was approved by planning commission at the same time. Okay, move for approval. Is there support for the motion? I support. Any further discussion? Please call the roll. Mr. Titterington? Yes. Mr. Wolke? Yes. Mrs. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Cappers? Yes. Mr. Westmeyer? Yes. It is approved. Does staff have anything else to come before the commission today? Nothing else, thank you. Does commission have anything else they want to discuss? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Stand adjourned. Thank you for your presence.